Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this episode of Weak Spot Wednesday, I'll be bringing you the updated Weak Spot Guide for the T-34 Russian Medium Tank, being that it is so different now that volumetric shells are in game. If you didn't know, shells fired by cannons now have their proper size and volume, which means they can no longer simply pass through pixel-sized holes in a tank's armor. Long story short, the T-34 has gotten a buff because of this, and I've gotten actually quite a few requests to make this updated guide. I'll be bringing you the top three shots to take against the T-34 if you have a cannon that can shoot through less than 140 millimeters of armor, and also the best shot for those with 140 millimeters of armor pen or higher. I'll be using the T-34 STZ as the model tank in this guide simply because of how common it is and because the frontal hull armor is substantially stronger than the other T-34s currently in game. Near the end of this guide I'll go over the tactics on how to defeat the T-34 and show gameplay on how to kill it. That said, let's get into it. So to start, and this is important, you can distinguish between the STZ and other variants of the T-34 by its frontal hull armor layout. There's much more going on with the STZ, including rivets, armor plates, and more, whereas the T-34s, uh, the regular T-34s, lack this. Additionally, as mentioned before, to defeat the STZ variants of the T-34, you may need upwards of 140 millimeters of armor pen. If the tank you are facing is identified as almost every other type of T-34, you can notch that 140 millimeter requirement down to around 110 millimeters. Due to the lesser hole armor present on nearly every other T-34, that isn't the STZ. So as you can see here, as I mentioned, there is a lot going on here. To switch over to the T-3457, it's a lot simpler. So you have a lot here and a lot less here with the T-57. So uh, T-3457. So just make sure you know what you're facing first and foremost, and that'll kind of be the guide on where you want to proceed from there. This all said, for the first weak spot, as always, you'll want to shoot against the side of the hull. This is a bit tricky on the T-34 due to the high angling of the armor, especially if you don't have a perfectly zero degree shot against it, as that sharp angling can quickly beef up the side armor of, of the T-34. So as you can see here, it shows around 47, 48 millimeters of armor uh, due to the effective thickness caused by the angling. And then as soon as you go over to something like this, all of a sudden you're talking about 127, 120, whatever, however many millimeters of armor pen, which is incredibly daunting. And it's fairly similar down here, not quite as bad, but it's fairly similar. Now that being said, to remedy this, just simply shoot underneath the, uh, where the armor juts out, but above the tank treads, if possible. Now this is an incredibly tight crew quarter area, as you can see here, the Russians were not known for their ergonomics, so you should be able to simply knock out the entire crew if you have explosive filled ammo, such as APCBC ammo. Now if you shoot a little bit lower even still, you may possibly be able to ammo rack the tank, which could be important if you have smaller shells or shells with minimal amounts of explosive filler, if they have any at all. So as you can see here, I mean, really, this is not going to be a bad shot either the side of the hole. You're going to want to shoot ahead of the engine compartment just because this is not going to do anything for you unless, of course, it's the only shot you have. Uh, but if you shoot right up here, uh, let's see. And don't pay attention to the fact that it says possible damage X or Y. As you can see, it just kills the entire crew. And much the same if you shoot the hole itself where it's angled. If that's a possible shot for you, go ahead and do it. Either way, I kind of prefer this a little bit more because it has an increased chance of an ammo rack, but it will kill the entire crew. Now, for your second shot, I would say to aim for the huge turret ring present on most T-34s from either the front or the sides of the tank. As you can see here, this is a very large and very visible turret ring. It is more visible on the sides, but on the front as well, it is an easy, easy shot. Now this is a much, again, larger target on the sides, but really anywhere is fine. Now this will likely be your go-to shot to kill this tank, as it is vulnerable from nearly every angle except from the rear of the tank. Now this shot can be used against all T-34s, including the upgunned 85mm T-34s. But if you are facing these T-34s, more likely than not, you'll already have a cannon powerful enough to shoot through any part of the T-34s armor. 
Now this said, the ideal placement of the turret ring shot will be from either side of the turret and towards the front of the turret, as this will most likely kill the entire crew if you're shooting with armor-piercing HE ammo. This shot will almost always result in a tank kill. It's a little trickier than the side shot because although the turret ring is large, it can be difficult to hit from a distance, but it is massively worth it. So as you can see here, you just simply shoot, let's say for example right here, with explosive filled ammo, and this is just using the STZ's 76 millimeter ammo, and it just kills the entire crew. Much the same way, you can shoot right there, kind of at an angle, boom, goes right in, kills the entire crew. It is an incredibly useful shot, even more so than shooting the turret, or the, uh, the full turret itself, because there's a chance that you can hit that cannon breach and it will not kill the entire crew. For example, take that shot right there, most of the crew is still alive. You make that shot with the turret ring, and the entire crew will die. So it is just an incredibly worth a shot, and a, something a lot of people do not know to make. And for your third shot, if you have a lower amount of armor pen, but you're facing the T-34 dead on from the front, you will want to shoot the sides of the front of the turret. More specifically, the right side, as it has the gunner present if you're facing the T-34's turret front. And this is especially important if you have AP or non-explosive filled ammo, but if you have a shell with explosive turret filler, again, any shot to the interior of the T-34 will likely wipe out the entire crew, if not the majority of the crew. Now, this being said, you can shoot just above the cannon itself, which should allow for the shell to explode inside the tank and destroy most, if not all, of the crew of the vehicle. Now, this isn't always going to be quite as good of a shot, and this is kind of the shot I mean right here. It's just not as as large of an area to shoot, and it's just a kind of a tricky shot to make, especially with all this going on here. That can just block the shell from killing the crew, whereas if you shoot right here, again, it will more likely than not destroy the entire crew, if not most of it. Now this being said, the mantle doesn't provide too much protection on top of the regular turret armor itself, so this is pretty much going to be a straightforward shot. As long as you don't aim for areas where there's, again, a lot going on, such as the left side of the mantle where there's really just substantially less space to shoot, as you can see here, it's a little bit thinner on, uh, on this side, uh, compared to this side, and you will also have to face an MG. So there are going to be a few spots on this side, specifically right here, that are just kind of no-go zones, where it says that there's over 408 millimeters of armor. So it's just a little absurd, whereas over here, it's a pretty much just a, a clean line that you can just go in and wipe out the entire crew again, because Soviet ergonomics are obviously the best. Now, for the weak spot to shoot if you have above 140 millimeters of armor pen consistently if you're facing the STZ or 110 millimeters of armor pen if it's just a regular T-34. Now, this will be approximately the same shot on both the STZ and every other T-34 tank as the only difference is due to the armor place present on the STZ. Basically, if you have that high of armor pen, shoot the T-34 dead center. This will kill the crew and annihilate the tank. By the time you reach this level of armor pen, your shells will be large enough to contain enough explosive filler to kill the crew of this cramped tank. So as you can see here with the Panzer IV G, of course this is at a zero millimeter uh, distance, so this is why I say 140 millimeters or more, because ultimately this is in perfectly ideal circumstances go to the USA and really one of the best examples of this is the 76 millimeter present on the uh, M18. So if I just kind of go out here, a much more likely scenario is let's say 300 meters or 400, however far, this can just go right through and destroy that tank with ease. Now, for those who decided to stay with me in this video up to this point, good for you and I thank you as I'm going to be telling you some semi-secret weak spots to shoot on the front of the STZ that you can take out with just 110 millimeters of armor pen, or even possibly less, as opposed to the 140 millimeters that I mentioned before. Now, if you look at the top of the hole, there's a little nub that sticks out and does not share the same angling of the armor around it. So, what I mean by that is this little spot right here. If you notice, 140, 143, 100... 
35, and I wouldn't bother shooting here because volumetric shells make this impossible. Really, for the most part, it's just a lot of armor. You shoot this, there's 111 millimeters of armor pen. So let's just assume I've got a good angle on that. I have enough armor pen to shoot through it. Boom, kills the entire crew. Again, this is in a spot that if you pen it, it can just hit the exact center of the tank and just kill them all. Additionally, this is a fairly large and noticeable area to shoot and will not be affected by volumetric shells if you hit it at more or less the center of the shot. Additionally, near the bottom of the front of the hole, there will be two towing hooks attached, uh, two towing hook attachment points, my apologies, that do not have additional armor plates on the bottom portion of them. So this is what I mean, these towing attachment spots right here. And I wouldn't really focus too much on this because if you're looking at this at more or less a uh, flat on angle, these are not going to be shootable if you have 110 millimeters of armor pen. But this is. So if you shoot this right here, you can go right into the tank. Boom, shot right there. Right into the tank, shot right there. There is a little bit of uh, area here where it can get a little bit dicey where the two plates meet up, but not too big of a deal. So long as you do not shoot the lower glacis plate, but more so where it kind of rounds out on the front and above or below these towing hooks, you will get some really nasty shots. And you can even shoot the towing hooks themselves and probably kill the a large part of the crew if not the entire crew and as you can see here it gives you the green to shoot right through it but because of armor or because of volumetric shells as you can see here only a portion of that shell gets through to damage the crew so don't even bother with those same old shots that that like you had before where you could pixel hunt they do not work anymore if they do work they don't really work nearly as well go for the larger uh, shots really that were intended uh, to kind of be there by the tank designers rather than hey this is a single pixel wide shot and uh, I can shoot through it with a 150 millimeter shell it just does not work anymore now for tactics on how to defeat the t-34 it's quite simple shoot the turret shoot the turret shoot the turret there's a huge reason why the Germans had a tough time with these tanks, especially at the start of Operation Barbarossa. They were nearly invulnerable if shooting the frontal hull while the tank itself is angled. This creates a huge ricochet problem that even 5.0 BR tanks can experience when facing T-34s. The frontal turret slash turret ring shots will be your most likely shots against this tank but the side hole slash side turret ring shots will be the easiest and most likely to succeed if you are at least in close range. Again, due to the relative ease of these shots. T-34s are also fast and agile tanks with decent tra traverse, so flanking them may not always be possible. If this is your only option, I'd say simply shoot the treads and hope the tank stops or better yet, spins out before stopping so that you can try to outflank it. Honestly, unless it's a last resort or you have a ton of speed advantage over a T-34, I would probably not try to flank it, as lining up a good shot against the highly armored T-34s, especially with their armor angles, and especially while on the move, can be a very difficult shot that oftentimes results in ricochets. To this end, it might be best just to sit still and line up that turret shot, as this will most likely be the shot that you'll have against most T-34s. If you are facing the 85mm variant of the T-34, it's much the same. Just shoot the turret face with preference given to the right side if you are facing it. With the exception of the cannon and the size of the turret, the turrets for the T-34 85mm uh, do not provide a large enough increase in armor for it to be too much more effective compared to the smaller gun T-34s, especially at the BRs that these tanks exist. This all said, thank you all so much for watching. As always, it means the world to me. Please, if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe, as it means so much to me and it helps grow my channel a ton. That said, I'm going to head out for the day, so remember, be excellent to each other and have a great day. Take care, everyone.